Welcome to Pro Practice, your guide to refine, enliven, and illuminate the piano repertoire. I'm Josh Wright, and today's lesson will be on the Chopin Etude, Opus 10, Number 1. I've received numerous requests to do this uh, video, and today I'm going to focus mostly on technique because this piece is fairly straightforward so far as interpretation. I'm definitely going to go over some ideas with that, but I want to give you plenty of technical exercises to really get more comfortable with the piece. This also takes a lot of diligence. I've played it for many years, and every time I bring it back, uh, I still have to really work, especially some of these weird places. Um, like, you know, some of those are not, are, are not that comfortable. So I'm gonna go through that. The first thing I like to do is uh, focus a little bit on rotation. So I'm just going to get really comfortable uh, at the piano with just a little bit of a rotating exercise. So let's, let's try this. And notice how my hand is just rotating to accommodate the keys. Not a whole lot of elbow motion going on. Don't do this. And then back down. It's just mostly in the wrist. And, and you don't only have to go half circles like this. You can also tilt your hand this way and that a little bit to really help you. So I tilt more that way. That brings my thumb up, and so it just has to just drop there rather than here. And look, my thumb still has to travel all that way to get back up onto the key. Does that make sense? So you can tilt it a little bit that way. And I do, I don't necessarily like to do the opposite rotation coming down. That to me feels a little bit awkward. Uh, but yeah, just uh, going up, it feels just a little bit of this half circle uh, motion <clears throat> and a little bit of a tilt that way. Let's try it a little faster. The other thing I want to help you incorporate is less of like um, a crossing over motion or, or an up and down motion and more of just a folding over motion. So your hand just kind of folds up and down the keys. So. Notice how my hand just folds over. It's just going, it's just folding over that way, okay? Okay. Let's go a little faster. And even faster. That's gonna take a little while to get there. I'm gonna explain some other methods to, to get that fast. thing that I would do, I, actually I would, I would probably take like a page at a time just doing this. Again, what you're trying to do is you're trying to create the least amount of motion, uh, just, just little bits of motion, but natural motion. You want, you want the natural motion to help you so that you have the least amount of jumping around or kind of jerky motions going around. The next thing I would do is practice maybe blocked uh, a little bit. There's, I mean, infinite amount of ways you could practice this piece, but you could practice. What this does is it kind of helps you to feel positions of numerous keys rather than just like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. So you're going to feel them like that. see if this next one will work. So displace the first note, get rid of it, and let's just do the block the other way. With the right fingering. So I'm going to get rid of that first note, so I'm going to block the G and the C with 2 and 4, and then the E and the C with 1 and 5. 2, 4, 1, 5, 2, 4, 1, 5, 2, 4. Let's see. Um, sorry, I did that wrong. And then... That's another method that you could do. You could also block or the opposite. Okay, 
you're trying to just get your hand used to each position. And some of these will be harder, like to block that. I have pretty big hands and that's even a big stretch for me. So you may not be able to block every single way on every arpeggio on some of these. like. That one is just ridiculous for anyone, I think. So uh, the next thing I would do is I would just practice two rhythms, three rhythms, four rhythms, five rhythms. And uh, each one of these has a different amount of rhythms associated. So two rhythms have two different options. Three rhythms have three options. Four rhythms, four options, five rhythms, five options. Okay, so let's just do those really quick. Um, so uh for this is the, by the way i'm just giving you lots of different ways to practice each little figure by itself and then i'm going to go through each of these individually later in the video uh, about what you can think about for each individual position um, most of them will be similar but there's a couple that are weird that you can think about differently okay so two thank you so much for watching as with all pro practice videos the first section is free if you'd like to view the rest of this video or if you're interested in learning more about pro practice, just click on the link on this screen or on the link in the comments section below. Thank you for your support of pro practice.